Welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has two scriptures. The first is 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, But as, is, but as it is written, I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. The meaning, when Paul first came to Corinth, he did not present the gospel to them with lofty speech and impressive arguments. He presented the truth as simply as he could, so their faith would be based on God's power and not human wisdom. Only those with God's Spirit can understand the truths revealed by God, including Christ crucified for human sinfulness. Those without God's Spirit are limited to what can be observed and worked out with human reason. God's Spirit makes it possible for us to understand and believe spiritual things. The next scripture is Romans 14. Verse 12 in the New International Version Bible, it reads, So then, each of us will give an account of ourselves to God. The meaning, Romans 14, verses 1 through 12, describes how Christians with opposing views on matters of freedom and sin should treat each other. First, strong faith Christians who understand that all things are clean for those in Christ should welcome and not try to change weaker faith Christians. Each should act on their convictions and honor the Lord in doing so. Neither should judge the other, for the real day of judgment is coming when we all stand before Christ and give an account of our lives. Now for the message received on November the 21st, 2021, from the Lord God. Who will grant you permission to leave your house? You will soon know the depth and breadth of the times in which you are living. If you think controls are strict now, you will soon know a more severe restriction, America. I know you cannot hardly bear the day-to-day -day drudgery of simply living in these final days. You are waiting and hoping for a brighter future ahead where things will go back to normal. This is as normal as it will ever be for the future of the world grows darker with each passing day. Do not fret, for I will save my own. I am your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I died on a cross at Calvary for your sins to be forgiven in the Father's eyes. Some of you remember who I am, yet others have only heard mention of my name. I am real. Trust in me, for I am the only way out of this dreadful and dire situation in which you are living. Believe on me, for I have the answers you seek. Read the books of the New Testament and the last book of Revelation. These prophetic books are true and will come to pass. If you don't know me, now is the time to get to know who I am. I am the judge, and no one goes unto the Father except by me. I am the blessed hope. You must know, my beloveds, for time is so very short now. You want to come with me, for this existence is ending. The Father wishes none of his children to perish in the lake of fire. So read my word now. And this was given to me with such evidence, uh, emphasis that I wrote now in all capital letters. Do it before there is no time left. I come quickly in an instant. It will happen. I am taking my bride with me to attend the wedding supper of the Lamb. You are invited and welcomed when you believe 
on me in your heart and turn away from your sins. Do it now before it's too late with undying love, Jesus of Nazareth. So another warning message. I just feel such an urgency in my spirit that it could be any day now. Please, people, wake up. It's time to wake up. Please realize that we are not going back to normal. Like the, the message said, this is as good as it's going to be, and each day it's going to get worse and worse. So your, your only hope, your blessed hope, is your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And this message tells you to pick up the Bible, and since the time is so short, so very short, read the New Testament the, go the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John first, and then go to the last book, which is the book of Revelation, which has a lot of the prophecies that will be taking place when the final judgments start to fall. And then we, we should be taken up, and then the wrath of God will fall upon the land in the Great Tribulation. You do not want to be here for that. And in the scriptures, in 1 Corinthians 2, 9, talks about the things that God has prepared for them that love him, that there is hope. But God does not want you to be suffering on a dying planet and in the, in the darkness when, when evil reigns. He is giving you hope here, and he wants you to be ready to come with him, but you cannot come with him unless you believe on him in your heart wholeheartedly and completely repent from your sins, turn away from your sins so you would never commit them again and always ask daily for forgiveness of your sins. And once you do this, you will re receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and you will be able, able to have a more personal relationship with the Lord your God, and you will be able to come closer to him and have that discernment and have the peace and joy now that will be hard to find pretty soon. Once things get worse, you need to have that peace and joy with you that God, that only God can give to you. And in Romans, it talks about, so then each of us will give an account of ourselves to God. We will be in front of the Lord Jesus and he's going to see everything that we've done in our lives and if you don't turn away from sin and you don't believe on him then he will say he never knew you and you will be left behind and then you'll have to wait until he comes back again but you'll have to endure all the suffering that's going to be taking place on this planet you have no idea what's going to happen. The only way that you will know is by reading the Bible. Read your Bibles before they take them all away. Read them. Please read them. There's going to be all kinds of people dying just because they are Christians. They'll be beheaded. That's what's going to happen. I mean, I hate to, to sound just so de depressing and and making it sound like it's going to be horrific, but it is going to be that way. And the Lord your God does not want you to be left behind. He wants to he wants to bring all of the Father's children back unto him. But you have to believe on the Lord Jesus and you have to have faith on him. And that is the only way back back home, back unto paradise up in heaven. So this is the message for today. If you enjoyed the message, please give it a thumbs up and definitely share it. Share it on all your social media media platforms. And for people that you think that are lukewarm or lost, please even just email them the link to it. People need to, to see what's really happening. People are walking around with um, blindfolds on their eyes. They have no idea what's going on. They, they think that everything's going to go back to normal with this vaccine, but it really is not. It's only going to get worse and restrictions are going to get worse and worse and pretty soon you're not going to be able to even leave your house. So if you like the channel, if you like the contact 
the content that I show you, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. I pray for all of my subscribers and viewers daily for Jesus' blood protection over your life. And also, if you have any questions and or prayer requests, please send me an email at my email address, which is listed down below in the description box. And if you feel this message is directly spoken to you, if you feel like you have a connection to it, you will know that you will feel like, oh yeah, this is for me. Put a comment down in the comment section so that others will be drawn to the channel and definitely give it a likes up, hands up, uh, a thumbs up, excuse me, and like the, the uh, video. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening. And I pray for each and every one of you daily for God to forgive you and to come up in the rapture and have a blessed day in the Lord.